Hi, my name is Edward W. Hardy, and welcome to my workshop, Classical to Pop Violin Improvisation. Today, we'll be covering four different topics, people who are normally nervous about improvising, those who are comfortable improvising but need or in looking for a deeper connection to improvising, people who are nervous performing and soloing so they create a pre-composition for their solos, and lastly, those who want to take their, their solos, riffs, licks, and turn them into compositions. So before we start, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Edward W. Hardy. I'm from Harlem, New York City, a classically trained violinist. When I was young, I went to Juilliard MEP, Manhattan School of Music pre-college, uh, SUNY Purchase for my undergrad, Aaron Copeland School for my master's, and now I'm here at UNC getting my doctorate in violin performance with my incredible teacher, Dr. Jubal Folks. And so I'm so excited to share my knowledge of improvisation with you. Improvising is simply just making something up on the spot, right in the moment. And our closest connection to doing so is the classical cadenza. So cadenzas typically happen around a five chord after the orchestra is playing and really sets it up for the instrumentalist to play something. And the composer either wrote it out or left it up for the performer to improvise something. And so I'm going to demonstrate an exposition of chartas on what that sounds like. And then I'll play it again with a lot of cadenzas in between. So I hope you're able to catch all of these cadenzas that I play. So this is how the piece normally goes. That's how it goes, written on paper. But I like to add a little cadences here and there. And so before I start, I'd love for you to pull out your instruments because I want to have you play something in the key of D minor when I'm finished. I promise I'll set it up for you really clear and obvious. So this is charters again with a lot of cadences in between. So now, in the key of D minor, I'd love for you to solo with me. I'll create a backing track, and I want you to accompany me and play on top. So grab your instruments and play anything you want in the key of D minor.
if you didn't want to do it in D minor and you'd rather play it in G minor, which is one of my favorite keys, that can work too. So here's another Latin jazz fusion beat for you to play on top of it. So G minor. that you had fun playing along with me. Um, so, of course, we started with classical music and I bridged to Latin jazz fusion music just by playing a lot of different rhythms on my instrument. I hope that that all makes sense to you. <laughs> um, maybe if you wanted to have a better understanding of like pop music and jazz and how that works, I really love and listen to a lot growing up Stevie Wonder. And so one of my favorite songs by him is Isn't She Lovely? And so for those who love to pre-compose your solos before you're asked to do so, this is one of those things that I've done. So I'm going to play the beginning, or I guess the entire song, of Isn't She Lovely, an improvised section, and then back to the original uh, music that you hear with a lot of embellishments. So this is Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. That was a little bit of pop and jazz for you. And see how I ended up taking the beginning, improvising over the same chord changes, and then adding embellishments wherever I wanted to. A lot of that slides, which I love to do. Or even here. Yeah, it sounds really cool if you're to add that to your solos. <laughs> um, and our last point, taking all of these little things that we have created over time and creating a piece, right? Because a lot of improving, improvising is simply just creating ideas and then if you're able to write them down, you have a composition and it's that simple. And so I'm gonna explore with you one of my pieces that I composed called Evolution Inspired by the Evolution of Black Music. And I was really inspired by Wade in the Water, listened to it a lot growing up, and I took that piece through two notes, E and G, so E minor, and expand to different genres of music, ranging from the spiritual 
to jazz, to blues, a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of classical elements sprinkled all throughout it, and circle back around with everything mixed into it. So from all your ideas, make sure you write them down, remember them, record yourself, and then you're able to compose something like this piece. So this is evolution. And that was evolution. And for all you classical people like myself, the cadenza I use in evolution is from the Mendelssohn Concerto. <laughs> 
just a little throw in there, one of my favorite pieces. But I hope you thoroughly enjoyed my workshop. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Um, please stick around for Chris Luther's workshop. It's about instrument maintenance, how to keep your violin or instrument, cello, bass, what, anything you have in tip-top shape. Um, he's also based in Denver. And please stick around for the Q&A afterwards. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.